Hi everybody, just a very quick video to show you about the video editor that you have on your Surface Pros. I've already got mine pinned to my taskbar down the bottom here, it's the Photos app. So if you don't have it, you can click on your taskbar or your uh, magnifying glass and type in photo. Don't type in video editor, type in photos. You can right click on this and uh, pin it to your taskbar. Mine says unpin because it's already there. Yours, yours will say unpin. Uh, it'll come down to your taskbar. It looks like these little photograph of mountains. When you click on that, this takes you into your photos and videos. I've deleted a ton of mine, which is why there's not that many there. There's a few that I've got here. I've got a photo and I've got two videos here. And if you come up to the top here, it says video editor. So you can go into video editor and what you want to click on is new video project. So click on that. Now the first time, I don't know why, but the first time I do this every time, it takes a while for this to start. What's going to come up in the middle of the screen is a prompt asking me to name it. So this is going to take a while for it to come up. I'm just going to give it a minute and I'll edit this video if it takes too long. But do you see what I mean? It's taking a while. So you could probably go away for 30 seconds and come back and see if it's actually started. There it is there. There we go. New video. So let's call this Mama and Baba. And I'm going to click OK to start the video. Now I've suddenly got this section here that says add highlighted. I can add to this little library. My project library is empty. So I'm going to click add and I have videos saved on my PC. So I'm going to click from this PC and I'm going to go to my pictures folder, which is where they're saved. So when you do things on your Surface Pro and video and take photos, it goes into your camera roll, which is here in pictures. Uh, so you just go into camera roll if that's where you've saved it. And this is the video here that I'm going to use today. Uh, this is of me and my son. Now, if you want to add a bunch of videos that you've put together, just click back on add and go to wherever you've saved it. So I do have other videos, I don't know, saved somewhere, video projects, here you go, test. This was something I did with Lee today, random one. So you can see I've only got one tick highlighted here. The other one doesn't have it. So if I click place in the storyboard, it's only putting that one that I ticked down there. I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to go back up here if I wanted to do both. So let's say you've done a whole bunch of videos, sort of 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and you want to put them all together, tick all of them and then click place in the storyboard and they'll both go in there. Now, if I click and drag it, I can move the order that these things go in. And if I go, oh, whoops, I don't actually need this video. I'm going to tick on this box here, come over here and delete it and it will get rid of it. So this is the video that I want to work with. So if I want to put a little title at the beginning of it, I've got this here that says add title card. So I click on that, this blue screen pops up. And if I click back on my video, you can see all these options here. I'm gonna go back to that title card and click on it. And now these are my options for the title card. So I wanna change the background to a, I don't know, a nice light blue instead of the other blue that I had and click done. And now I've changed the color and now I would like to add some text to it. So I'm going to add some text up here. The top right is your text box. This isn't heaps fancy. It's very, very basic. So I can either type mama and baba up here or maybe I want it to stretch out across and I'm going to put mama and baba. Whoops, mama and baba. So I've just hit enter a couple of times in between. And on the right here are your options for uh, changing the style. So you've got some fancy, you've got some colorful, classic, adventure, go through these ones. So I, I've been using this one because it's quite bright and colorful. And if you go down, these scroll down, so there's more there. But if you go down further here to where it says layout, you can change the position that it is on the screen as I go around. This one's quite big. Now what will happen is if you want to test how it looks, come over here to the left where there's a play button, click play, and you can see it's got a little bit of animation there that goes with it. This blue section here across the bottom, you can change the length of time that it lasts for. I've just been using what it is. And when you're done, click done. And when you want to test it, here is your sort of um, 
time bar down the bottom here. I'm just going to drag it back to the beginning so I can see what it looks like. I'm going to click play and there's my little title that I just created. What do you now want? it comes to the video. So now in the video here, it's highlighted at the bottom so you know which section that you're working with. And let's pretend that I want to add some text to the bottom of it. What I prefer to do is split this video up to where I want the text so that I know it's in the right spot. It makes it so much easier if you wanna go back and edit later. So if we listen to the video, this is my son trying to climb up on my lap. This is me while working from home, day two of trying to do it, which was actually a bit better. So if I play. What do you want? Cuddles Mama Check. You want Cuddles Mama Check. Oh. So let's pretend that's where I want a title. Now I've paused exactly where I want it. I'm going to come down here and click split. Now because I paused it in the right spot, I don't need to muck around with this time bar down the bottom and change where I want it to. So you can if you want to, you can move this around and see exactly where you want to split it, but I know I paused it in the right spot. So I'm just going to go to done. And now you see down the bottom how it's split it into two different videos. So now I can go to this one here and put some text on top of it like I wanted to, which was, I'm just going to say, cuddles, mama, whoops, cuddles, mama, chair. And I might even put that uh, in speech marks as if I'm trying to narrate what this is. Now, obviously this uh, detail that I've got here is not appropriate for what I'm trying to show because I still want the video to be seen. So I could change it to this over the top. I could change it to this one where it's a bit blurry. I might use adventure. Now this is a bit more colorful and I can move it around the screen if I want to. Cuddles mama chair. I am just trying to find the one where I know it kind of goes over the bottom of it. Oh, there we go. That's probably a better one. Just a little bit of it highlighted there. I could even do it at the bottom. Oops, not doing it there. On the side there. So let's say I want to do that one. And now looking at the bottom here, I've got this blue highlight with the text that says cuddles mama chair. I can change the length of time that the text stays on the screen. So I can do that here or I can do it back in my main section. So let's just click done and see what that looks like. Now back here on my time bar, I'm just gonna drag this back a little bit because I wanna see what it looks like when it transitions into it. What do you want? Cuddles Mama Check. You want Cuddles Mama Check, okay. Okay, so you can see that works the right way. And now see the highlighter at the bottom here has moved over because I'm on the next bit. I'm just going to pause that. So now if you want to do that throughout, you can split where you want it, put the text where you want it. There are some special effects on here which aren't that grand, but you know, they're there. So 3D effects are here. So um, I like this one, breaking news. So if you click on the one that you want, you can see it does have sound on the side here. Uh, I might move this over here in front of my horrible roof so you can't see all the cracks and things that are in there. And this will spin around. So you can test it by pressing play. Press play. What? That was pretty quick. Um, so let's click done. And let's have a look at what it looks like. I'm going to drag it back a little bit. So you can hear that made some sound. So if I don't like the sound, I can go back to the 3D effects and uh, and turn that sound off if I want to. So the breaking news effect is here. I can take that off by clicking the X. So effects is up here in the middle. Click on that. There's some cute ones here like confetti. So the kids have done something exciting or you're doing something exciting. You can make that a little bit bigger. Let's put it over here near my fish tank and play it and see what it looks like. So I don't like that sound. Let's turn the volume right down on it, but let's have a look again. What? Something exciting there. And again, down the bottom with this uh, time bar, I can stretch it out and make it last. <laughs> it looked like it came out of his mouth. <laughs> I want to do that again. Okay, I'm going to go back. That's too funny. <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm enjoying this too much okay i'm just gonna let that play for a little bit see how long the confetti goes for okay it stopped i want to do something new now with the next effect so i'm going to split my video i'm paused where i want it to be so i'll just click done 
and here's the next section now where I haven't edited anything. So let's have a look at uh, uh, filters. And over on the right hand side here, if you click on it, you'll see it suddenly change. So I might change it to black and white, you'll see it change. So this will not be locked in until you click done. So you can click around and play on all of these and see which one you like and see how they look. And then when you're happy with it, you can click OK. If you're finding a scene is a little bit dark, if you click on classic, that's usually the one that lightens it up a little bit. Uh, and there's some, you know, sort of pixelated ones and things that, that you can have here as well. So you can get creative with it. So I'll click classic on that and I will just click done so that it stays. Uh, the other option you've got too is motion. You can go into motion. So at the top here, you've got all these other things as well. Uh, so these zoom in effects. So if I click play, you'll see the zoom. A camera. A camera. Who's that? Oh, that's not doing it. Sorry. Let's try that again. Click done. Let's have a look at it. Here you go. There you go. Look. Look. Oh, why is it not doing that? Look. Let's try that again. Motion. Why are you not zooming in? Let's try another one. Let's try tilt up. Oh, there we go. It's automatically tilted up. A camera. Um, and click done. And I'll just go back a little bit. So finish our confetti out of the mouth. Who's that? And see how it zoomed in all of a sudden? Who's that? So that's that effect there. So you can speed videos up as well. So this section here, hit the speed. You make it go as fast as you want. So let's see what that looks like. So let's say you're doing a video. That was quite quick. I might fix that up a bit. Let's go down a little bit. There we go. And play that. <laughs> so if you're doing something where maybe you're, you know, showing a painting to the kids and it's really slow, but you want a sped up version of it, that's what you could do with that. Now that horrible sound you can take off down the bottom here by clicking on the sound icon, the volume icon, click on that, drag it all the way down. And then you can play that very, very fast without any sound at all, unless you'd like to add some music, which is at the top here. Now, if you click custom audio, you can add audio file that you've got for yourself, or there is some background music on here. Let's just go with clown parade. And... <laughs> Okay, uh, you can test it here, sorry. Uh, sorry, you can mute the music, the volume there. <laughs> so you can make it as loud or not as loud as you want. So let's try that a little bit softer. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, if you want to see how it looks uh, on the full screen, this little icon here to expand it will show you how it looks and then you can just you know drag your icon and, and double check where you want to watch different things. Um, this is good if you're doing something with, you know, print or, or a picture and you want to make sure the kids will actually be able to see it on their screen, being mindful that, you know, some of our kids might be using a small tablet or even a phone to view something. Now, when you're done, you just click finish video. It's going to give you a video quality option. So you just drop down for the different ones there. I mean, we've got a lot of space on our Surface Pros if we want to. So I've just been using 1080p to make sure it's nice and clear. And then you click uh, export and oh, click export and then it's going to be sort of um oh, sorry after you pick a spot where you want it to save so i'll just save that to the desktop for now uh click save and then this is your exp this is saving so depending on how long your video is you know that's how long it will take i mean you can see my video is 44 seconds so it's not taking very long to export this will save as a um a video file that you can upload to Google Classroom um, or if it's a small enough file you might even be able to email it to your kids. Now when it's done it's going to pop up. Oh it's added video it's added music to the whole thing so I've got to be mindful of that the next time I save it that I'm not doing that to the whole thing. So when I before I save a video I usually sit and watch the whole thing and check it first before I click finish video so don't make the mistake that I just made by rushing ahead with that. All right, hope that was helpful.